Which 40k army to choose next for the channel? Tyranids or Eldar? I have chosen and today is the big reveal. Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, a few weeks ago I did a poll on the channel asking which army you would like to see next on the channel. The results are in and they're quite interesting results. I'm going to share that and also reveal which army you are going to see on the channel next. Before that though, if you would like to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k, then please subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss an upload. Okay, so I've almost exclusively played Necrons in 8th edition, both with the Index and the Codex. I feel like I am now ready to play one of my other armies to get them out on the table and to make videos about them. So I asked my subscribers which army they would like to see next on the channel. Aldar, Tyranids or Space Wolves. Those were the three options and I had a very clear cut winner from the votes, getting 50% of the votes from one army. The other two armies were quite well split, around 25% of the votes each. Now, have you ever been in the position where you can't decide for yourself what to do? So you let the dice guards decide, or you flip a coin, or you ask someone else's opinion. When they give you that opinion, when the dice decide what you should do, all of a sudden, you want to do the opposite. Well, that happened to me. Now the clear-cut winner of the poll was Tyranids, with 50% of the votes, Aldar and Space Wolves both having 25% of the votes each. Now I knew deep down that I didn't really want to play my Space Wolves at this moment in time. It will happen, I'm just not quite ready for it. However, it was the Aldar that was calling out to me, and I blame Richard from Capitan Morgan's War Games, because when I played him recently, he played his Aldar Dark Aldar, and I think seeing those on the table brought back a few memories of playing my Aldar army, and I think that inspired me. However, I am listening to the public, and the public have voted for Tyranids, so I need to make a decision on which army to choose next for the channel, and I have made that decision. So, the army that I'm going to choose for the channel next is going to be... Both! Yes, that's right, I am going to do both armies on the channel. Tyranids, the army my subscribers have asked for, and Aldar, the army that's coming from within me, calling to me to do on the channel next. This is going to be fun. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a rundown of what to expect from the Tyranids and the Aldar in this video. So let's start off with the Aldar. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about Aldar, or should I say Craft Worlds? What should I say in my videos, Aldar or Craft Worlds? Let me know in the comments box below how you would like them to be known as. Okay, so I've got the codex. It is still sealed up. I've had it since the day it was released, but I haven't opened it yet. Now, Aldar is the army that I started the channel with back in 5th edition. I had the army, unpainted, but most of it is painted now. Now the reason why I came to the internet in the first place for this hobby was because I was having trouble playing Aldar in 5th edition. I went from playing Necrons and Space Wolves to Aldar. Now remember, Aldar back then used to shoot on 4s and they were quite fragile. And I had a massive, massive learning curve learning how to play Aldar. And that brought me to tactical videos from Wargamer Fritz, who really, really helped me with the turn five, you win tactics. And from watching his videos, I became a much better player, a much better Aldar player. However, I still was myself, and I still had quite themed lists. So I had a Samhan theme list, and I had a mechanical theme list. 
I basically just wanted a tank army coming from Necrons with just a monolith as a tank and then coming from Space Wolves 13th company who had no vehicles. This was the first army that I had where I could take vehicles. In actual fact, it was the first army that I had where I could go to Forge World and buy Forge World bits for my vehicles. So I really went to town on my Wave Serpents, on my Fire Prism, and also on my Vulcan. They're all converted into Forge World tanks. And I made a list built around all of those tanks. So what I'm thinking I will do is, first of all, I'm gonna do a showcase of my army. Now I have made a showcase video of my army, but since then I've painted quite a bit more and it was quite a number of years ago where I didn't have a very good camera. So I thought a great place to start would be to showcase my current army. I'm gonna add up the points. I have no idea how many points that I have. And then I need to open this codex and work out how I'm gonna adapt my armies to 8th edition and that is exactly what I want to do. I'm going to make a Samhan themed army and I'm going to make my mechanized themed army. So I'm going to go into the codex with some restrictions. First of all I think I will concentrate on a Samhan themed list. That is what my army is based around originally. However, it's not painted like Samhan, so I've got my own color scheme, my own craft world, the Idic craft world, and I can use them as any craft world faction that I wish. So, that is what's gonna happen with the Eldar. I'm very excited about it, I'm very excited to get it on the table. However, there's also the bugs. Okay, so Tyranid time. So I have actually played two games of Tyranids in 8th edition. I played a very small game in the Index, and then I played a thousand points game in the Codex. They were just fun games. I didn't really plan the armies too much. I just put some models on the table and had a game. Now, in terms of Tyranids, I had what I thought was quite a competitive Tyranid list back in the day of 6th and 7th edition. However, I don't think that list is in any shape or form competitive in the current 8th edition climate. It seems like the Tyranids have really changed on the models that go on the table. Now back in 7th edition, my army added up to around 7,000 points. I'm not quite sure what that would be in 8th edition. Maybe I should check. But around 7,000 points, a reasonable sized army, but not a fantastically big army, especially for Tyranids where the model count usually is quite high. So I don't necessarily have all of the models that maybe you would need for 8th edition. So I'm going to have to make a list based around the models that I have, and that is gonna be my task. Now, Tyranids, for me, is one of the most fun armies to play on the table. Yes, I love my Necrons. Yes, I enjoy playing my Necrons. But there's something about putting down a Tyranid army, having no care in the world whether your models die. They're Tyranids, they're bugs. Who cares if they die? We have plenty more. And Tyranids are a lot of fun. So I'm going to adapt my lists, see if I can come up with a fun, decent list for 8th edition. Now I had a fun list and a bit more of a competitive list previously. My fun list was a Nidzilla list, just big monstrous creatures. Now from those experimental games that I had, it seems like the big monstrous creatures are a lot cheaper in points now and they go down a lot quicker. So adapting that list with the model count that I have might be a little bit more difficult. I might have to go Nidzilla and Swarm, maybe in the same list. Either way, it's going to be fun and I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope you guys are looking forward to both Tyranids and Eldar on the channel. So lots of new content coming to the channel. Monday will still be Necron Monday. That will not change. However, Tyranids and Eldar are coming soon. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you are looking forward to the new videos, then please consider subscribing. Hit my icon at the end of the video so you can keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40K. Beam me up.